So it's September 29th. We're at the state campus at the Jubilee Auditorium parking lot. What we're doing today is a side-by-side -side burn demonstration of the effectiveness of residential fire sprinklers. Calgary Fire and TSM Plumbing and Gold Seal have uh, partnered together to put on a demonstration today for the media. So uh, come on along. If you don't get to see it on TV, uh, watch this video and you'll see the effectiveness of sprinklers. Today, uh, the three messages is eliminate the hazards in your house or in your, your place of residence. Uh, make sure you have a smoke detector, and you're going to see why that's so important in a second. And make sure that you have a planned escape. We're going to light it uh, in a garbage can, and uh, it's just going to be a simulated. You, you threw a cigarette into the garbage can, and it, uh, it ignited the garbage can. And once uh, we get started, we're going to start the clock and just watch how well this progresses. So you can see the smoke developing right now by the uh, by the drapes and behind the couch. Smoke so detector's right going off now. Before you even see much smoke, the smoke detector is already activated. So if you're sleeping in this room, you already know that uh, there's something going on. You can roll out of bed. You have plenty of time to get to safety. You can see in the top of the room we've got some heavy smoke now we have starting flame, to build. Flame showing. And we're going to have some heat building there as well. If you stay low and crawl out the front door, you'd still be okay here. So uh, our heat camera here is saying that it's 60 degrees on the floor. That's definitely survivable. Um, if you crawl your way out, you'd be fine. You can see the flames are starting to grow in the corner. If you're over on this side, you might not be able to see it as much, but you'll see it in a second. The flames are growing in the corner. Thick, heavy, black smoke up top. Still survivable down to the bottom, but getting to the point where it's going to be a little bit of a uh, little bit of trouble getting yourself out of here. The smoke detector is still activated, so you can still hear the smoke detector, and you can see the flames licking up the side on the curtains. You can see heavier, heavier smoke now. Smoke coming up from the back of the couch. So now it's about 100 degrees at floor level. I don't know what any kind of telling us now, but 100 degrees, and you can see it's getting pretty reduced visibility on the bottom top to see you can be breathing in some smoke. It's getting to the point now where you'd be having trouble getting out of this. So if your smoke detector didn't go off and you just woke up right now, you'd be in a bit of a world of hurt. You can only imagine if you woke up and this is the situation in your room right now. And you can see the flames are starting to lick across the wall. That lampshade is spontaneously ignited. And we're going to see something here called flashover, where everything in the room ignites. We're going to see the smoke ignite. We're going to see everything ignite here. So if you were in the room right now, this would no longer be survivable. So in a minute and 55 seconds, it was on survival. And you can see it's just a massive flame now. So we're going to get these firefighters in here to put this thing out. And you can see that this would no longer be survival at all. It's pretty hot right here. This fire is massively out of control. And you can feel the heat. If you're standing in the front here, you can feel the heat from this. Okay, we're going to get these guys in here. And we're going to get these guys in here. And we're going to get these guys in here. And we're going to get these guys in here. And we're going to get these guys in here. And we're going to get these guys in here. So the fire should grow in about the same method as the last one. You can hear immediately the smoke detector is activated. So you've got some warning. You can get yourself out of here. You can see some wisps of smoke in there as well. Still survivable. It's not extremely hot. Not a ton of smoke in there. You'd have some time to get out of here if you knew about it. If you were in a dead sleep, it'd take you a while to wake up. You can see some darker smoke and boom, the sprinkler activates almost immediately within 20 seconds. The sprinkler is activated, and it looks like it's put the fire out. So we're going to shut that sprinkler off now, and we'll see the level of damage inside. So you can see how quickly that sprinkler put the fire out, limited the damage. You can hear that poor smoke detector still trying to beep away there. So we'll let that smoke clear out a little bit. But what a difference from the raging fire that we had to this fire that within 20 seconds or 25 seconds our clock shows here that that fire is up. So here's our sprinkler. Mm -hmm. Here's the tent that comes out of the head itself. Right? And there's a protective cap right there that Terry's holding. And there's our sprinkler head that discharged. 
in uh, under 30 seconds, and this is a this is the limit of the damage. And we'll go uh, we'll go next door and we'll show you the other one that was unsprinkled. Virtually no damage. So we couldn't be more happy with the results there. Uh, that was incredible. 25 second discharge of the sprinklers is uh, way faster than we anticipated. You can see by the limited amount of damage in the sprinkler unit how effective these sprinklers actually are. And uh, again, I'd like to thank Calgary Fire and TSM and Upanor for their involvement in this. And I hope you found this interesting.